flashing everybody and their mothers and their fathers. It was so, so tight on my neck. It has an elastic waistband. It's giving Nike Pro. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so special for so many reasons, but before I dive into all of that, I need to preface that I am sick, I have crazy allergies, and usually I don't associate allergies with being sick. I'm just like, oh, it's just allergies, whatever. But for some reason, I have been feeling like such crap these past couple days. So if I sound super nasally or just like low energy, then I do apologize. I finally mustered up enough energy to film this YouTube video for you guys, so please bear with me. I might need to blow my nose. <clears throat> Okay, anywho, the whole reason why you clicked this video is because it is a new Buff Bunny collection try on haul and review. And what makes it so special is that it is an athlete collaboration. It is Miss Kara Corey's collection. And I am just so excited about this for so many freaking reasons. But I had the absolute pleasure of meeting Miss Kara this March at the Buff Bunny collection content house. We were just chatting about all things Buff Bunny, and I was just like, hmm. I wonder when the next collaboration is gonna be because it had been a year since the previous one and the way that Kara just was like, I don't know, that's so crazy. Like, that's so crazy if they had another collaboration. And I remember just being like, oh my gosh, I am fangirling so hard over meeting you because <laughs> you are such an inspiration to me whenever it comes to just your work ethic and how much time and effort and dedication you put into your Buff Money Collection reviews. She told me that she did that while working a full-time job at the hospital. And I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> if this woman can freaking work a full-time job and put up that quality of a production, for her reviews and just all the stuff that she does like it, it just boggled my mind and i was like you need a collaboration and she was like oh, i don't know <laughs> and here we freaking are i know that she was just like dying inside to scream out into the world and now she finally can so i know that was super long-winded but Kara, if you're watching this, I just need to say that I am so, so proud of you and you should be proud of yourself too because the collection is beautiful and I just can't wait to dive in. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and do just that. As always, I'll go ahead and put the screenshots of the PDF on the screen for you guys, but the 7 Collection by Kara Corey X Buff Bunny Collection launches this Saturday, October 7th. Is it October 7th? Yes, October 7th at 1 p.m. Central Time. If you end up finding this review helpful, I would so appreciate it if you used code TRACY to save 10% off of your Buff Bunny Collection order, and it supports me and my relationship with the team as well. With this collection being Buff Bunny Collection's Halloween collection, you are to expect, I mean, I guess we were to expect, like, crazy crazy prints, crazy colors, and just intense designs, which is just what Buff Bunny Collection has done over the past couple years, but they changed it up this collection. She ended up doing a super dark, sexy little palette. A lot of the pieces that I picked out weren't processed in the warehouse just yet, so the team sent me what they could, which included a lot of like whites and onyx blacks, save for Journey Dark Brown, which we have seen before. Moving on to fabrics, we have the fine ribbed fabric, which is seen in the Material Girl Flare Legging, Elysium, Butter and Newbury. So we have seen all of these fabrics before. I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about them just because I explained them time and time again in my other videos, but just little spark notes. The Material Girl Legging fabric is going to be super stretchy, very plush to the touch, honestly. The first time I ever tried that fabric was for the Off The Grid collection for the Material Girl Leggings, and I just loved them. I thought they were so underrated. Definitely a low to medium compression on me. Moving on to Elysium, that is Buff Bunny Collection's prime performance fabric. It is a little bit shinier, definitely on the slicker side, high compression. Butter and Nubri are similar but different. They are both very brushed, but Nubri is going to be more so on the denser side. A solid medium compression, usually on me for the pieces that I have in Nubri, whereas Butter is the thinner, lower compression fabric of the two. And it's just a great like everyday fabric to wear if you're wanting to wear it for athleisure as well. Moving on to the actual pieces that are launching, I'll put screenshots shots on the screen here for you guys but the first page is going to showcase a lot of the leggings as well as sports bras and tops that are launching we know miss Kara Corey loves a little titty moment and so does your girl i have been waiting for some shorter line sports bras from buff buddy collection i obviously love that they launched so many high support longer line sports bras to be inclusive of people with all sorts of body types but for me personally because my torso is so short 
like y'all know I just prefer for a sports bra to be shorter aligned and typically with Buff Bunny collection bras that are longer I do end up rolling up the band so I'm so happy to see that there are some shorter line sports bras that give a delicious little titty moment on the next slide of products there were a couple pieces that really caught my eye which included the wicked bra if you follow me over on Instagram you would know that I have been a runner girly I have been in my running girl era which is why I did pick up some of the performance fabrics and I had the wicked sports bra in my wish list but unfortunately it did not come in time hopefully I'll be able to get some of the remaining pieces that were on my list in time so that way I can at least review them for you guys on my story other than that we have some amazing graphics some lifestyle pieces such as the cloud items the mini game changer backpack which I'll talk about in a sec as well as the desire denim jacket which is buff Bunny collections first ever take at denim so I honestly feel like there is a little bit of something for everybody in this collection genuinely like I, I think Kara did such an amazing job just catering to all different types of people with their preferences for what they like to lift in to run in even and then also for lifestyle too so moving on I'll post the FAQs up here for you guys if y'all had any questions about previous pieces that have launched and as always prior to beginning the review I'll post my sizing somewhere up here on the screen now I did choose varying sizes sizes for all these products so I'll just go ahead and put them down in the description as well but with that being said let's just dive right into the review first and foremost I have the seductress sports bra in the color white in a size extra small I'm just gonna go ahead and get sizing out of the way for the sports bra because if you've watched my most recent YouTube videos you'd know that recently for wider or square neck sports bras I've actually been sizing down to an extra small because I gape so much in a size small every single freaking time I would wear a square neck sports bra and bend over it's like I'm flashing everybody and their mothers and their fathers and I was like you know what what would happen if I sized down and that helped so tremendously that I decided to do that across all the brands that I've worked with so for Buff Bunny collection for example for the Legacy Sports Bra, Revolution Sports Bra, Revolution Halter, the Aurora Bra, all of those bras I sized down to an extra small which is why I did so here for this sports bra as well and I loved how it fit. No more gaping whatsoever as you'll see in the try on clips so my sizing recommendation is if you do have a fuller chest I would say to stick true to size or size up only if you're in between sizes if you don't have as full of a chest Which for me I range on the smaller end of like my bra size I would say to size down especially if you've had a history of gaping and wider or square neck bras with that being said Let's just go ahead and talk details about the sports bra It does have a wider square ish neckline right here thin stretchy straps that go all the way into the back and cross But what makes this bra special is the fact that the strap detail goes along the entire bust portion of the bra in the front. I love that detail because this bra is a rather simple sports bra, but once you add that detailing, it's just like so much cuter. Whenever I wore the sports bra, I don't think I saw the bust pads peeking through. And with that being said, it does come with removable cup pads, but if it does show through in the triangle clip, then I will obviously let you guys know. As we can see, the straps do cross in the back and then they are adjustable, which we love. I could honestly probably adjust these straps like all the way to the bottom and be just fine because if I adjusted them anymore, then they would probably dig in a bunch. But otherwise, it does have a thinner band in the back. My only qualm about this sports bra that I noticed was that this bottom band right here super similar to the Aurora sports bra band actually was that there are so many like little seams here that it actually gets quite constrictive on me so I didn't like that there were so many just like seams going on in this sports bra other than that it does fit me about a medium compression and the only downside to sizing down is that I feel like it doesn't really cover my like little armpit fat area I guess you could say it just looks kind of small on me and because these straps kind of like come in naturally like this instead of just straight up I do feel like it's making my shoulders look larger because it's kind of creating this triangle type of look with the way that the straps kind of come in towards my neck versus straight up. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't mind my shoulders looking larger because 
I mean, that's the goal, was trying to grow my shoulders, if you know what I mean. But just something to note. But I do like the sports bra a lot. I think it fits super well otherwise, and I will definitely be getting some use out of this. Next up, we have this itty bitty, teeny tiny sports bra. This is the double twist sports bra in the color Onyx Black in a size extra small. I have a tag on here, and I'll talk about it later on as to why I haven't taken the tag off. But this is, I guess, like the second rendition of the twist bra that launched in the Naked collection. I had it in the color Stardust, and and in a size small. Now that bra was very boobalicious. Like it was just a straight up and down type of strap that met in the back. So it was very low compression. If you watched my review from the Naked Collection, I'll just link it somewhere up here for you guys. You would know that the straps almost would like be falling off of my shoulders. I didn't really get support at all. Hence the reason why I sized down. One of the biggest differences between this bra and the other twist bra was that the one that launched in the Naked Collection was made out of new fabric whereas this is made of the butter fabric. I didn't really notice any crazy differences between the two in terms of like fit and feel but anywho details about the sports bra. Features the same twist detailing in the front as the other sports bra did. Thin straps that come all the way up to the top and it kind of has like this little sweetheart ish type of neckline right here. It comes up to the top and then once we turn it around then it actually meets in the back kind of in this halter neck situation so I think because of that it gives it additional support but not only does it meet in the back, it also has two straps that fan outwards, which is just so flattering for your back, but it also meets in another twist situation in the back too, hence the name Double Twist Sports Bra. Now, similar to the first rendition of this sports bra, it doesn't have a bottom band at all, so all you'll see is the seam kind of like folded in on itself, so there is virtually zero support in the sports bra, and I think you'll see in my try-on as well that whenever I raised my arms up and, you know, waved them around and whatnot, it definitely made the bra go up. But regardless though, I did feel more held in for sure. Like the girls weren't going anywhere and it's not like I was gonna jump around in the sports bra and you know, run anyway. So for general weightlifting, I think I could do just fine with a size extra small, but I was spilling out a little bit. Like you'll see me turning side to side, a little boobage was kind of like peeking out of the sports bra, which typically never happens for me. But whenever I did the gait test, nothing was moving. Nothing was falling out or anything, but I think I would still feel a little bit more comfortable in a size small, especially because it does have a halter neck as well as these straps. On the topic of seam detailing, whenever we look at the back seams right here, what you'll see is that this seam on the side is actually just folded over on itself. So there isn't any seam running along the side and back band at all. I really, really like that. And I hope that they keep this in the future because that little design detail is just so comfortable on you. Like I didn't feel like this bra was digging into my lats whatsoever, despite the fact that it did fit a little bit more on the smaller side. In terms of sizing, obviously I sized down to a size extra small versus my true size small, solely because I knew this was in the butter fabric and the other twist sports bra did fit on the larger side. But with all of these little upgrades and changes and details, this is more supportive overall. So I feel like you could get away with sizing up if you are in between sizes and you'll be just fine. And especially if you're a gal with larger girls than like absolutely size up because these cups are they're itty bitty <laughs> okay they are they are very small now the last sports bra that i have to show you guys is not in any of the brushed fabrics it's actually in a performance fabric that is unnamed and this is going to be the sultry sports bra in carbon black in a size extra small whenever i put in my little like wish list for buffeting collection i didn't realize that this was a performance fabric so <laughs> this review is not accurate for the sizing that i normally would have picked had i known that it was very much a performance fabric because this was so incredibly small on me. I just wish I like read the PDF better because if I did, then I would have just picked a size small and I'm sure that this would have fit me so much better than how it actually fit me. So with that being said, let's talk details. So this has a very plunging v-neck, very flattering for the girls. I must say it does have quite ample coverage for the girls versus the double twist sports bra. I feel like in the double twist sports bra, you could definitely see armpit fat. Whereas for this, it was very 
minimal, even given the fact that I sized down. So I know that whenever I do get my true size small, it's gonna fit that much better and give me that much more coverage. The bottom band right here does have this little detail that comes up to cup the girls a little bit, which is super flattering, and it does sit underneath your boobs, so no need to worry there. The bottom band here isn't double lined, but I kind of want to say that it's like a heat press type of situation, but it's not because it's not like folded over or anything. Like I don't know how to explain it other than to show you guys, but it's just very thin, super stiff. Because I sized down, it made it that much harder for me to get it on. There is only so much stretch in this sports bra. I feel like because this band is so stiff, it's prone to just like bending in really weird places and like creasing as well. So I didn't particularly enjoy that, but it did sit very like seamlessly on your skin because there are no seams in the front. Now, we do have to talk about this band <laughs> up here because I know Kara mentioned in her review that, you know, this band is super comfortable. It doesn't dig in at all. That was not my experience. But again, I sized down. So definitely size up if in between is like the whole gist of this review. But this strap kind of gives me like bra strap vibes. Um, a little bit itchy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It does have like a little silky finish, but it was just still like very intrusive on my neck and my traps overall. Like even though this bra was so compressive against me and definitely held me in, I feel like the strap, it just wasn't long enough. It was so, so tight on my neck. I was hoping that this portion was also adjustable as well. Like that would have been so fire if it was, but um, it is not adjustable. It is stretchy though, which is nice. But if we turn to the back, it is a little like tea back moment here with this strap that does come off. It's one of the biggest reasons why I picked the sports bra because if y'all know me, y'all know I love me a little backless moment or a little halter moment. So this is what the top of the sports bra looks like and you can just take this off to create that halter neck look as well as the hook down here too, obviously. And what's nice about this is that once you take this off, actually sits super seamlessly in that bottom band and doesn't peek through at all. But once you do reach the back band, there is a seam at the very bottom just to kind of hold you in place. Here's that transition from the front of the bra to the back band right there. As we can see, there is a seam running through the entire back of that band, which just kind of like keeps you held in. But I did notice that there was a lot of pinching in this sports bra. But again, I sized down on accident. So that's probably why. But last but not least, it does come with removable cup pads. It's definitely like a solid medium to high in a size extra small for me. So yeah, definitely size up if you're in between sizes. Next up, let's move on to tops. So I have here the Covet Crop in the color white in a size extra small. Now this is made out of the new brief fabric. I love this freaking top, you guys. It is just so, so flattering. It's kind of like the corset crop and the crystal crop had a baby and this is what popped out because while the corset crop is made out of butter fabric and the crystal crop is made out of Newbury fabric and so is this covet crop, this crop also has the same bra pads as the crystal crop, but it has some like boning detailing here that is more similar to the corset crop and then same thing in the back as well. This does have a little like sweetheart neckline and then the seams that kind of like encompass the girls start right where the strap starts and then just kind of like come down meets in the middle to kind of give you this like hourglass look. I just love how this looks so much and if we turn to the back it obviously has like super thin straps and then there's just a little bit more detailing in the back here. This does have a built-in shelf bra again like the crystal crop does. I feel like sizing down was the right move for me because this neckline is rather wide. Now although it's not like a square neckline. I just feel like sizing up would make the sides of this top kind of fit me a little bit more on the looser side, susceptible to falling off of my shoulders even, whereas this just fits me perfectly while holding me in, giving me a little lift in the boobs as well. I would say that if you're in between sizes, you could get away with sizing down. Next up, moving on to the bottoms that I have, this is going to be the corset legging in Journey Dark Brown, a color that Buff Bunny Collection has come out time and time again. Now we have seen this legging before in the UK collection, so I'm not gonna spend too long on it. It is a high-waisted legging with these corset like detailings to match the corset crop. The seams are super interesting here because it kind of like dips down and then dips back up for the waistband. The inner portion of this waistband does have a seam running through, which is just a detail that I've never liked in any legging, let alone like brushed leggings because it just doesn't feel that comfortable to me. Moving on to the body of the legging, there are no seams going on whatsoever other than the inner portion of the leg. And if we turn to the back, 
And then we have that tapered glute seam with a couple more like corset-like detail along the back waistband. But other than that, that is pretty much it, you guys. Nothing crazy at all. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is made in the butter fabric. I do have the corset legging from the Kate collection. And in the PDF, they said that they opened up the top of the waistband and increased the grading on larger sizes to give more grading in the back rise. I don't know what opened up the top of the waistband means, but I noticed that whenever I had the Journey Dark Brown colorway on, it fit a little bit more snug than my Stardust leggings did from the Kate collection. And you know, now I know why, because it's just a smaller legging overall. Lining these on top of one another, we can see that it's very clearly the same like waistband height, but the body of the legging is just smaller overall. We can just see that there's just more material like in the Stardust colorway. And then it's just the slightest bit shorter as well. Sizing just kind of depends solely because of that top waistband seam. If you carry a little bit more fat in your stomach and you don't want that to be emphasized, then I would say to size up. If you were to size up, it would be a little bit more comfortable for you as well. If you want to just be more snatched as a whole, if you're in between sizes, then I would say to size down. Again, it just kind of depends on how you want these leggings to fit, but overall they are very, very stretchy and comfortable. And I would say that they are about a light to medium compression on me. So the last leggings I have to show you guys are going to be another performance legging and it's going to be the sinful legging in onyx black in a size double extra small. Now, something that you'll never catch me do is sizing down in a performance fabric, but in the PDF, it was noted that sizes double extra small to small should size down a size, whereas sizes medium and up will fit a little bit more true to size so I just trusted even though I never size down in performance fabrics but alas here we are and it did fit better so anywho details about this legging this is not an Elysium it's a nylon spandex blend and I don't think that they have a name for it yet so TBD so this legging is high-waisted and it has an elastic waistband which you will also typically never see me wear an elastic waistband legging or short it's giving Nike Pro so I'll only do it for Buff Bunny collection though because I know that if they're gonna do it they're gonna do it right again elastic waistband with buff bunny collection in this like rubberized raised material it is rather thick and does have a lot of stretch to it more than i realized i wish there was a little rubber strip on the inside to just kind of like hold you in but there is no rubber strip it's just like the elastic waistband and it is a little bit more soft on the inside no front seam at all in this legging and then moving all the way down there aren't a lot of seams going on at all other than the inner and then the outer the body of this legging is actually very stretchy it's still kind of giving Nike Pro it's still on the slicker side not shiny at all but it definitely does have like some sort of sheen to it but it is stretchy which I like so turning to the back we do have this little like heart shaped glute seam right there and then just a regular glute seam down the middle and this does sit well above your glutes so no need to worry about it sitting like halfway down your glutes or anything there isn't anything else on these leggings that's pretty much it and oh this is the stretch by the way like I will say it is very very stretchy and sizing down for me did the trick there was very minimal gaping so I just know that in a size extra small there would be a lot of gaping this legging is a solid like medium compression legging on me and I was very surprised by this because I typically do not like performance fabrics but because of how stretchy this is I was like okay this I can actually get behind and I, I do like the elastic waistband, although I still think I gravitate more towards like the brushed fabrics and whatnot. Um, I did like this legging overall. It gave like just the right amount of compression to where I felt like I was held in. Um, nothing was going to slide around. I would say that the sizing that Buff Bunny Collection gave in the PDF is pretty accurate. I felt comfortable sizing down to a double extra small. It fits like an extra small. If you're just looking for a legging that, you know, helps with lower tummy control, this ain't going to be it. It's, it's not gonna be it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys because this is all you have. So while it does like snatch in like the smallest portion of your waist, that's pretty much it. Last but not least, an accessory. We have the mini game changer backpack. Now I am a sucker for small things. I just love the mini versions of like anything. Oh, I just think it's so cute. And this is no exception. It's literally just the regular game changer backpack, but in a smaller version. So the like front silhouette is still looking to be the same. It has kind of this like chrome colored metal decal in the center right there. And it has two baby pockets on the side with a little D ring for your keys there as well. And then here's what the back straps look like. So it is a little bit on the like shiny side and the adjustable portion of it is this like 
plastic, which I know Kara wasn't too happy about, but I think there were a couple complications with having it be like the same chrome metal just because it would have like slipped and slid, slid, I was gonna say slided, slipped and slid around due to the nature of this being so slippery. So they changed it to plastic. And then the bottoms here, you actually are able to like take the straps off and just like change it to however you wish for it to look like. That's pretty much it for the body of the backpack. If we open this up, there's just gonna be one mesh pocket right there in the back of the backpack. That's pretty much it. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this to or how I'm gonna use it, but I just know that I've always wanted a mini backpack, especially whenever it was like super in style. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, I, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what use I get out of this and I will keep you all updated on when and where I use this, but I just think she's really cute. And I was like, I had to have this, so. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this try-on haul and review of the new Seven Collection by Buffany Collection X Kara Corey. I am so excited for y'all to get your hands on this collection and I wish I had more pieces to share with you guys. Like I got so many performance pieces. I got so many like higher support sports bras and whatnot, but unfortunately they just did not get in on time for this review. So I am quite limited in what I am able to show you guys. So for that, I do apologize. But if y'all are interested in seeing me try on my like replacement sizes as well as the other pieces whenever I do get them in, then follow me over on Instagram at TracyBFit and I'll go ahead and review them on my stories as soon as I get them in. Other than that, I hope that y'all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you have your eyes on for this collection. Once again, it launches this Saturday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Code Tracy does save you 10% off of your entire Buff Money collection order and supports me and my relationship with the team as well. If you guys haven't already, then subscribe to the channel for more videos coming your way so soon. But until then, I will talk to you guys later. So see ya. Bye.